Hey guys, welcome back to Hype RC. In today's video, we have all the upgrades for our Hobby Plus CR18P Evo Pro. So we've been waiting for some of these parts to come off back order and they finally showed up so we can finally get all of those parts put in. So we're going to get over to the bench. We're going to see all the parts we're going to install on this rig. We're going to hit the scales. We're going to hit the incline board. We're going to take it out for a crawl, but we're going to beat the creek this year. And so I want to get as many 18th scale crawlers as possible decked out and ready for those comps. And then we're going to take some over tent scale rigs and we're going to hit those trails it's going to be a lot of fun i'll have a really cool video on that real soon but for now let's get over to the bench and check out those upgrades so let's go ahead and take a look at all the upgrades we're going to put in our evo pro to get it comp ready so this is the rock lizard body i was already shooting a few other bodies so i went ahead and took the liberty of getting this one painted it comes with a nice set of decals as well we have the hobby plus all metal drive shafts the rear aluminum axle housing this is the v2 so we can get rid of that torque twist the front aluminum axle housing we have the v2 uh portal covers in brass with the aluminum knuckles we have the very nice hobby plus suspension links for this rig the front steering link which is stainless steel from fury tech and the overdrive gears from fury tech as well now this is the fx 118 single speed transmission with the cedar brushless fury tech motor we're going to get that installed on this rig we also have the nsdrc rs 100 this is a sweet servo and then the fast eddy bearing kit to get rid of all those bushings we have the dj crawler uh 72 millimeter pin tires and these Enjora 1.0 bead locks and then we're going to put in the Fury Tech Python RFX 2-in-1 ESC and this is really going to get this rig up to a different level and ready for some comps at Beat the Creek. So go ahead and stick around. I'm going to get all these upgrades installed and then we'll take an up close look at the truck. So now that I got all the upgrades installed, let's go ahead and take an up close look at the truck. So we're going to start off with the rock lizard body and it came out very nice. I really like this one had the back half kind of all styled up with some really nice details in it. And then all you had to do was paint the front half of the body. I chose white on mine to go ahead and match the fury tech colors because I knew we were going to put a fury tech brushless system in this rig, but it has plenty of wheel and tire clearance and it looks super sharp, very nice decal set. Now you can go ahead and see all the other livery I went ahead and put on mine as well and this body is just a great body for the 18th scale comp crawler rigs now let's go ahead and talk about the wheels and tires that we put on here so the beadlocks are 1.0 enjora offsets they might have a little bit of a wide stance on here but they're going to give us more ability to be able to turn these very large wheels and so the dj crawler wheels these are their pin comp style and i've seen a lot of good things on these online i want to try them out they might actually be a little bit too big for this rig but we're going to go ahead and give them a run anyways and i've heard a lot of good things of they're very sticky i really like the two stage foams that they come with so we're going to give these dudes a run and then we're going to see if we don't need to maybe shrink down the size a little bit for a true comp rig but i think they look absolutely killer sitting on this right now now let's go ahead and take a look underneath the hood on this rig so everything went together very, very well. Let's start off with the electronics. So I went ahead and got the FX118 transmission with the Cedar brushless motor installed. That went very well, just three bolts in and out. That was very nice. I really like this two-in-one from Fury Tech. This is the new Python Pro RXF. So you save weight by not having to have a receiver because it's already integrated and it comes with the remote as well. So that's super nice. We went ahead and mounted the on-off switch right here. You know, no complaints. Ever on the NSDRC RS100. This is one of the best micro servers servos that you can actually buy. So on the bottom of this, all the links came out very nice. We are sitting extremely flat, lots of breakover on this rig. This is going to be absolutely amazing. The axles and the links and the front steering links, the portal weights, all the brass stuff fit together just perfect. So this rig is truly a comp rig now. This is going to be absolutely awesome to get out on the rocks. So I went ahead and rebuilt the shocks, 25 weight oil on those. I've got them laid down in the positions I think that are best going to be able to get tire and wheel clearance for this rig but all in all i really like the way that this has come out so the next thing we're going to have to do is take it out for a crawl and see just how well it actually performs 
But during this build, I did have to make a couple of changes and I want to talk about those right now. So the first change I made, I went ahead and got rid of this rear plate off the back of the rig. So this is just adding weight back here. You really don't need it. But when you remove this, you remove some of the bracing that keeps this chassis really stiff. So I went ahead and 3D printed myself a couple posts to stick in here to really stiffen up this chassis. And that was really nice. And then the front drive shaft that comes for the CR18Ps is actually too long. So you can see here under full articulation that that doesn't hit. If you buy the regular kit, this actually hits right here. So I had to take about an eighth inch off both sides of this axle to go ahead and get it to fit and not have any interference under full articulation. But other than that, everything else went together very well. Let's go ahead and get a weight on this rig and then take it out for a crawl. All right, guys, now that we've got our rig sitting on the scales, we are sitting very close to the 60-40. We are sitting 59% in the front with 41% in the rear and a 50-50 left to right balance. Now, I do have the battery in this rig, and anytime you see me weigh one out, I will always have the battery that I'm going to run in it, so that way we get a fair comparison on the weight ratio. So let's go ahead and get this guy out for a crawl. So let's go ahead and check the throttle and the modulation control and the FOC on this new setup. So it looks like we can get this guy to slow crawl very, very slow. That's awesome. Super slow modulation on this. Let's see what happens when we get up to the obstacle. I'm going to leave the throttle set right here. We'll see what it does. So it bites in nice and creeps right over the top. No problems. Nice bite on the back. Very nice. Another big win for a Fury Tech brushless system.
All right, guys, that was a lot of fun getting out and running this rig. So let's get right into it and talk about the pros and the cons on this build. So I really like the Rock Lizard body. It is a great body for a comp build in the 18th scale. It looks really cool. Very nice decals that come with the kit, and it has lots of wheel and tire clearance. You can get it in two schemes, a full clear scheme or the one with the back half already painted, which is very nice. That's what I went with on this build. So next is the Fury Tech FX118 transmission with the Cedar Pro brushless motor absolutely fantastic hooked up to that new python pro rxf all built into one little two-in-one unit so you're going to save weight and space underneath the hood on a little rig like this then the rs100 servo from nsdrc one of the top-notch servos out there on the market. I absolutely love that. can run it on 8.4. It's got a ton of speed and torque. The axles and the portals and the links from them all went on very well. The brass gave us that 59% up front. So really, we've got this rig sitting really close to the 60-40 mark. So all in all, this build was absolutely fantastic. But it's not perfect. So I did end up busting that front dry shaft that I ground down. So I had to put in the plastic one from the factory back in here. So Hobby Plus has a V2 drive shaft coming out for these rigs. So again, we're going to have something we're going to wait on to get installed in this, but the plastic drive shafts actually work well. I just like upgrading to metal ones when I put brushless in. So don't grind on that front one. It's not going to work. Just go ahead and keep the plastic ones in on your build until you can get a set of those V2s. And then I kind of have a love hate relationship relationship with these DJ crawler pin comp tires. So really they did not perform that well inside on the table or on the incline. We only hit 58 degrees. I was really expecting to get a lot more with this rig because of the how high they raised the center of gravity. But once we got out and hit the rocks, they performed absolutely fantastic. I was actually able to hit lines that I cannot hit with my other 18 scale comp rigs. So really inside's not that important as outside i wanted to see the performance in here as well but when we went out and hit the rocks they are absolutely fantastic love those two stage foams in them and they are actually very grabby and grippy tires really annihilated the back half of the course so i really like the way that these perform so all in all this build came out very well you know we're going to go out and hit beat the creek going to have a ton of different rigs to go out and show and run out there so i'm really looking forward to going out there so don't forget to support your local hobby shops bash crawl repeat hit that subscribe and like button for me and ring the bell so you can catch my next video we'll see you next time